Uh, just a moment, stranger, for I can see you're neither Finfolk nor Furbolg. Now, who are you? And more importantly, what are you doing here? I have a better question. Why are Vikings all so damn ugly? I mean, <laughs> it's obviously hereditary, but is it me or is it getting worse with time? <laughs> oh, dear. As for your second question, I'll hear your name before I give you mine. I am called Olaf. I am a Viking from Stromness. As to why I am lost here, that's easy enough. After the Furbolgs first dug their way down here and found these water-filled tunnels, me and my brother Eric came down with a Furbolg guide. Now, what was his name? Let's see... Uh, Is anyone there? No, damn. I, I mean... Go away! Come out, friend. I mean you no harm. All right. Just don't hurt me. You said you meant no harm. Does Baliak or something? Well, that's not important right now. More on that treacherous dog later. Anyways, we came down here to explore, you know, see if there was any treasure to be had, maybe a nice vein of ore. So, we brought a small boat with us. I'm a pretty decent shipwright myself. Did I mention that? Now, when we were younger, my brother was always the one who was better at building things. Me, I've always been good at knocking them down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> of course, what use is a Viking that can't take care of his ship? So I spent several years in Yordland studying under old Skaggy, the master shipwright. Surely you've heard of him. Of course you have. Everyone has. It was his boat, Drogrimmer, that led the fleet of Kolskeg the Bloody in his famous raids off the Black Coast. So I was saying. We have our ship down here and we're navigating these tunnels when we come upon a bit of dry land. Anyways, Eric and I are hauling the boat out of the water. We port it over to the other side and manage to get it back into the water when we noticed the Fairborg is missing. I'm very sorry I didn't come out of hiding sooner, but you see, I've been down here a while, always running from the Finn folk, not to mention the crazy Viking. He thinks I'm in a league with the Finn folk, if you can imagine that. So we go off to look for him. We hear him calling out to us down one of those side passages to the east, and we get jumped by a whole horde of Finn folk. He's just an insane old man who runs off at the mouth. I lead him and his brother down here, help them navigate the tunnels. I turn around for one moment and the two of them have gone off somewhere. Not that I was sad to see them go. If you think he talks too much, you should have heard his brother. So I go looking for them, and when the Finn folk jump me, I give out a yell for help and go hide myself. The next thing I know, he's calling me a traitor and trying to kill me. I just want to get out of here with my skin intact. Now, Finn folk, as you know, are notorious for using magic. And it just so happened that in my younger days, I picked up a little trick to deal with such things. You see, it all started when old Thorvald the weaponsmith, he tells me about this island that he saw when he was but a lad. And he says to me, Olaf, he says, you're the best sailor I ever laid eyes on. And if anyone can get out and find that island, it's you. Now, of course, at this point, I'm swelling with pride because Thorvald, he served with some fine old sailors, as I'm sure I don't have to tell you. There's old Bjorn of Redbeard, Arno Kettleson, Kettle Arnason, and Ranoff Ederson, to name but a few. So at any rate, I sail out to this island with my brother Eric. You remember me talking about him, right? Poor lad never had a chance against those Finn folk. I tried to save him, but I was too late. That treacherous Furbog led us into a trap he did. Killed my brother and left me stranded down here. And that is my sad, sad tale. Brings a tear to your eyes, does it not? I, I can see you're all choked up by it. You're a good lad to let an old man run off at the mouth like that. Here, take this stone. I found it down here, and I have no use for it. And to tell you what, if you do win the Furball, I'll teach you how to dispel magic. Might help you get past those Finn folk. 
He hides himself in the caverns east of here. Just bring me back proof that he's dead. And you thought I was long-winded. You use your words efficiently. Far less content, but surprisingly just as annoying. <laughs> Yeah, take this. It's my most precious possession in the world. My father gave it to me when I was younger, but I want to thank you for what you've done for me. Are you done with your little mission? Aye. Here you go. The bloody deed is done. His armband, eh? Yes, yes, this is good proof. He was always boasting about how great his father was and how it'd been his most precious possession. He'd never have given it up. I have no use for the damn thing, so you keep it. Thanks. Now, I believe you have some payment for me? Payment? Oh, yes, yes. I, I learned this secret when I was younger. It was on the Isle of the Winged. Enough with the tales. Teach me what you know. Of course, no need to get violent.